we'll go in, into one of the stacks of the archives here. We're going to find the Gibbons Medal that was presented to Father Gilbert Hartke. And this is what we're interested in today, this little treasure here. The James Cardinal Gibbons Medal is the highest award that the Alumni Association can give. The university really does itself proud because we find really special people to honor with the highest award. You just don't give it to anybody. The James Cardinal Gibbons Medal is presented to someone who's distinguished themselves in service to the Roman Catholic Church, the Catholic University of America, or the United States of America. The James Cardinal Gibbons Medal was named for our founder and the first chancellor of our university. The person receiving it does not need to be an alumnus, and this allows us to branch out into the greater community to acknowledge someone who exemplifies the characteristics of the James Cardinal Gibbons Medal. The Alumni Association has given this award for almost 70 years. So over that period of time, they've given it to wonderful individuals, individuals who have one thread, I think, that goes throughout each and every one of them, and that's the thread of service. Gary Sinise was chosen as this year's recipient of the James Cardinal Gibbons Medal for his work with veterans and with first responders. We know Gary Sinise as an actor probably most famous for his role as Lieutenant Dan in Forrest Gump. He's currently on the TV show Criminal Minds Beyond Borders. We're lucky to have you. It's a dangerous job. It's very easy to kind of forget as we're going through our day that there are a group of people that are out there serving us, putting their lives at risk, keeping us safe, helping to ensure our freedom, and he reminds us of that, along with helping those who have returned from service through helping build homes or serving them food, having festivals near the different medical hospitals. Hi guys. Yes, sir to working with firefighters, policemen, EMTs, who are always on the front lines first. Let's think of some of the people who have received the award. John F. Kennedy got the award, Justice Scalia. Then there's Nancy Reagan, Eunice Kennedy Shriver. Her husband, Sergeant Shriver, got the award, and her son, Timothy, got it as well. These are the remarks of Senator John F. Kennedy when he received the Gibbons Medal in 1956. So this is his prepared text, but you can see that there are places where he has made changes. President Kennedy, then Senator Kennedy, was making edits to his speech probably all throughout the dinner. It says it's a particularly great joy to receive an honor bearing the name of Cardinal Gibbons. The Alumni Association is proud to present Gary Sinise with the James Cardinal Gibbons Medal and welcome him in to this notable group of recipients.